Hi everyone, welcome to Murrungo. This is the Bluestone house and shop up for sale in a, in a beautiful little village it's, um, set almost in the middle of Young and um, Borua. So it's a fantastic little community. I'm just going to, before we go in, we're just going to swing around and have a look at our little village. That's a, a, um, an old inn that's been restored um, as a historical place. I've actually putting the bricks back in. So there we are, Young and Bora were basically in, in the centre of both. So we've got a primary school here that's just down the road where these cars are coming from. Um, probably that time if I've started school yet. Um, who are we looking? Oh, even after that time. So we've, we then you then go down to the turn off to Young, which you'll see on the or go straight through to Carra. Young's about 20k, and Borrowless is about the same. We've got a fantastic little primary school down there. We've got a um, uh, kind of a, a general store that sells uh, the hat that I'm wearing, the belt that I'm wearing and the boots that I'm wearing so uh, arguably one of the best stock makers in Australia we've also up the road here got a fantastic um, property that you can stay at and it's got the old police quarters um, once again bluestone just uh, it's got that feel if you're getting out of Sydney this is the place to come. So, the idea is that you're going to have your cottage business at the front, or it's, uh, it used to be a cafe before this owner purchased it and uses it as an office, private office. Come on, Richie. Come on. Come on through. So I'm going to take you to the garden first, and then we'll swing back around and go through the property itself. So I set on 2,000 square metres. So over here... You've got an area, got some water storage, got water storage out the back as well. But as you can see, we're the 31st of January and it's green as. Um, really is quite remarkable. So, walking down, this is almost like a separate block. Um, gets mowed, you could have anything out here. A couple of sheep, alpacas no doubt. Um, or kids, lots of kids running around. This is the old chook house. Be the first thing I'd have up and going. You can see the rooster still there, the old slab, and let them out during the day. Scratch, scratch away. You can see the sprinklers. That's all from the tanks. You've got the old tank there, another big tank, um, and of course it's. Uh, Green friendly, so processed processes it, its own foul water until it's uh, good for irrigation, and then gets irrigated. Perfect system. This is a rear lane. We used to call them the Dunny Runs, of course, back in the day. Um, council owned now, so it's pretty much a rectangular uh, block. Pretty flat for the kids. Perfect. Now you'll see the addition on the back here and the old original building at the front. So uh, it gives you an indication of how big this block really is, but easily maintained. You know, it's just been mowed today, it took an hour. Gardener was here, an hour and 40 bucks. And he not only cut it, but he sprayed as well. So that's pretty cool. All organic, of course, out this way. So we're going to go back to the front of the building and I'm going to take you through the front. So as I said, the front has been just about everything over the last 100, oh, 120 odd years. So um, good phone access with Telstra. You see the dishes next door now. So there's no reason you shouldn't have great coverage. Now, 
and it does come with its own well from way back when which still has water in it right there anyway so it's got a, a, a galley kitchen almost brand new a, more of a commercial kitchen um, so good quality you just stay there Richie stay there good boy there we go right we're about to go back through through the front so this is where they had their, their tables for the cafe at the front here bit of bit of um, shade in the afternoon so we're about quarter to four in the afternoon the sun has now gone over the front and is now on the back of the uh, back of the property so here's the front of the property and you're going to run your cottage industry or whatever it is from the front or it's just another big living area if you're just going to live here and I just say just it's not just you're going to have a fantastic little um, lifestyle just having a bit of problem with light there so fireplace so it's set up as an office at the moment and it's been that way for the last 10 years which is just perfect but obviously if you want to paint there's a painter down the road there's um all sorts of cottage industries around and it doesn't actually have in in the village itself on the main road doesn't have a little um retail area for all these cottage, cottage industries that goes uh on the main road part so you could basically set up a little uh, boutique shop type thing now this is a little area that um you can have your morning coffees in and the pergola i would probably bring back some of these plants although they give you great privacy roses at the front but just a great little spot to watch uh, everyone else go by while you enjoy your own coffee now we're going to leave Richie here. Richie is um, fenced in out there. So it's secure for little kids. Uh, they're going nowhere. It's really, it is, it's secure. Fenced all the way around. And then the separate block is also fenced off. Um, as you saw, we walked through a, a couple of gates. Now, coming on to the old, 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 old part of, part of the building is you're going to see transformation where you've got a fantastic commercial based kitchen really um, you've got to be able to fit a double double door over there or you've got a double door here it depends on what you want you might put a single door over there over to you you might put a um, a deep fryer which would easily just roll and you'll see these are um, modular so you can bring them in and out move them around to the layout you want the thing is it's commercially orientated great fans here so we're just going to move down this is obviously a part of the old building you've got two bedrooms there's one single another single now you would have noticed when i was out front to the right is actually an old entryway that came through where that window is you wouldn't you don't need it these days because it's it's the configuration has changed a little bit and you wouldn't have a formal entry um, over there so lots of stone now when it was run as a cafe this was the commercial toilets not now obviously this is just the um, the family bathroom just a little service area got our washing machines and stuff now that was the back door you saw that and this is another courtyard i thought i'd unlocked all the doors there's a few doors here so if you've got teenagers you can put them anywhere you want this little courtyard fantastic little private courtyard for the afternoons especially in winter and in summer so you've got the one at the front for your coffee and this one for your wine 
Now move, moving back on through, this is the new area, great big lounge, master bedroom, that is massive. So I don't know what else we can say, it's a, almost a parents retreat if you want to, we've actually almost got it set up as a separate um, uh, almost like a granny flat, I suppose. You could you could set it up whichever way. If you had um, parents staying for a long period, I'm not letting myself out. I should be. Anyway, that's the other courtyard. So you basically got three. Two on this side of the building, one at the front, one at the back, which has barnets for barbecues, and then the other one on the other side. So you could get away from two teenagers if you wanted to. So that's, we've been through the house. Although this is new, and you saw from the exterior planning, it's um, corrugated iron. It's got timber, timber ceilings, and it's, I reckon, about 35 out there at the moment. And not even the ceiling fan on. It's nice and cool in here. And that's, I think, just the air is kept so cool with the uh, bluestone that it just seems to flow on. It's not, not warm at all. So what you've seen is timber ceilings throughout, modern, old, and yet it flows really well. And ideal for children. You just can't believe... If you've got a little cottage industry, you want to run it from the front, shop, or else you've got two massive living areas, a couple of bedrooms for the kids, your large master at the rear, and 2,000 square metres of, of, uh, of block, more or less. There we have it. Morongo is certainly a place to, a place to be right in between young which is great shopping uh, great schools for the older ones once they leave primary school the buses all go past in either direction borrower or or young so um, your choice of, of good schools and they certainly go to young um, the catholic school there from all over uh, the riverina so um, certainly great schools for your kids this is just a, a magical little place that coming out of Sydney, you're just going to appreciate um, the village uh, community, the community living. And yet you just can't buy it in town, but you can here. Our auction is the 23rd of the 2nd uh, in rooms, uh, Double Bay. So give us a call, 02, 02, 040. 297-0217 email brian at brian Real .com. Uh, text or email let's get you through um, and we've got a, a vendor that's that's it's just time to go uh, leaving this beautiful property she she came out of sydney and and now it's time to move on so no doubt you're coming out of Sydney for the very same reasons and she's loved it here for 10, 10 years, which is really a, a statement on why you should buy. So give us a call quick and we'll uh, get contracts to you, get you through. You're going to love it. Your kids are going to love it. Um, if you want to retire here, you're going to love it. It's, it's close enough to the two small towns, but not too close. Thanks very much and we'll talk to you soon.